right, and welcome to Seventh Season Studios. This is the Affinity Designer Affinity Photo 1.7 update for Symmetry. Now, I included Designer and Photo in the same video. One, to cut down on the number of videos. Secondly, it's the exact same in both Affinity Designer and in Affinity Photo. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, we've been asking for Symmetry for a while. They listened, but unfortunately, it's in the Pixel Persona. So in Affinity Designer, you're going to go into the Pixel Persona. And in Affinity Photo, you start out in the Pixel Persona. So let's go ahead and go to File, New. You can open any size workspace you want. I'm going to work with a 2000 pixel by 2000 pixel workspace. And in both programs, when you go over to the Brush tool here, you'll see now in the Context Toolbar, you've got the option for Symmetry. Let's go ahead and click that over. Now this line appears. Now this line is kind of weird. If I was to draw right now, you'll see how it kind of works. That's not exactly what I want. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Control Z and I'm going to hover over the line and I'm going to rotate it until I get to 90 degrees. Now it's a little bit tricky to get here, All right, but keep working at it, you'll get it. All right, now you see if I start drawing here, I'm going in the opposite direction, right? It's mirroring here, I'm going up, and here it's going down. So I want to Control Z again. I want to click on Mirror, and I want to lock this line in position. All right, now, in order to make this work, notice I got a pixel there, and the brush, I'm just going to go ahead and we're going to sketch. And so now, if I sketch using my brush, let's go ahead and turn this stabilizer off. Now I get the kind of symmetry that I want as an artist. So I'm able to create kind of this furled brow line here. I'm able to create some cheekbones. And we're able to create kind of a different type of looking skull here. So this is one application for Affinity Designer and Affinity Photo that's been a long time coming. Very excited about this. All right, so that's symmetry. Now let's go ahead and right click and delete that. And now let's show you something else. Let's go ahead and triple down on this thing here. Let's do, oh, I don't know. Let's do 10. We'll do 10 different subdivisions here. Now, in order to do this, I'm going to switch over to my pen. Let's go ahead and grab any old pen here. We'll just go ahead and grab this pen here. And now I'm going to go ahead and make sure my flow is up to 100, make sure my opacity is up to 100. And now, coming from the middle here, Look at what we're able to do. Instant Mandala coming on here. This thing is super cool. You could do some amazing stuff with this. There we go. So you're now able to do Mandalas with Affinity Designer. Now we can go Control Z on that. And we can play around some more. We can do another brush here. And here we go. We can go out. We can come in, out, in. This thing is pretty awesome. All right, so that's really all there is to symmetry there. It's in the context toolbar. You check the box, you figure out your subdivisions. And then if you wanted to, you could come in one more time. Let's drop the subdivisions back down to one so we don't make it crazy. And then we can unlock it. And then when you hover over this area here, notice now you can make it any way you want to make it. And if you wanted to even draw that way, now let's lock it back in place. You're ready to go right off the bat there and away you go down in a 45 degree angle now. All right, hope you learned a little bit about this. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other 1.7 features in other videos.